Natural Limits to Evolution, 2. In this video, we establish the thesis that there are natural limits to evolution. These limits prevent the extrapolation of microevolution to megaevolution. This means that random chance and natural selection cannot create the entire biosphere, including formation of completely new body plans and new phyla. 1. Empirical limits. Artificial selection has shown strict limits, beyond which species become unfit and die off. This has been seen with every artificially selected species, e.g., chicken, cattle, sheep, pigs, dogs, cats, pigeons, horses, fruit flies. So, species do not have the infinite plasticity needed to create the entire biosphere. This imposes empirical limits on what natural selection can accomplish. 2. Random chance limits. Natural selection can only work on what random chance creates. The entire physical universe has only 1 E120 possible chemical random chance trials possible, in its 14 billion year history. This creates random chance limits on microevolution, that prevents its extrapolation to megaevolution, see below. 3. Protein limits. High specificity proteins have a specificity of 1 part in 1 E60. That means that no more than 4 high specificity proteins can be discovered by random chance in the entire history of the universe. This imposes random chance limits on the number of proteins that can be created. Any taxon that needs more than 4 completely new high specificity proteins cannot be created by naturalistic evolution. 4. Protein limits. Low specificity proteins have a specificity of 1 part in 1 E10. That means that no more than 15 low specificity proteins can be discovered by random chance in the entire history of the universe. This imposes random chance limits on the number of proteins that can be created. Any taxon that needs more than 15 completely new low specificity proteins cannot be created by naturalistic evolution. 5. Orphan gene limits. The scientific literature indicates that 10 to 30 percent of genes in higher taxa are orphan genes, with no homologs in other taxa. These orphan genes are needed to create distinguishing features of each taxon. Random chance and natural selection cannot create more than four high specificity genes in the 14 billion year history of the universe. So, any taxon that has more than four such orphan genes is separated from all other taxa by a chasm that cannot be crossed by random chance and natural selection in the entire 14 billion year history of the universe. So, this creates very clear and impassable limits between the higher taxa. 6. Orphan gene limits, random chance, and natural selection cannot create more than 15 low specificity genes in the 14 billion year history of the universe. So, any taxon that has more than 15 such orphan genes is separated from all other taxa by a chasm that cannot be crossed by random chance and natural selection in the entire 14 billion year history of the universe. So, this creates very clear and impassable limits between the higher taxa. 7. Substitution time limits. If a beneficial mutation occurs, it takes 300 generations to spread the mutation throughout a population, for higher complex species, and to replace the non-beneficial alleles. Most taxonomic transitions are claimed to occur in about 10 million years. E.g., the chimp human ancestor to human transition is claimed to have occurred in 7 million years. For humans with 20-year generation, that means 6,000 years per mutation, and so 1667 mutations maximum. So, the limit for microevolution of higher complex species is no more than 1700 nucleotide mutations. This prevents the extrapolation of micro to mega evolution, because mega requires millions of mutations. 8. Substitution genetic death limits. If a beneficial mutation occurs, it takes 300 times the population size in genetic deaths to spread the mutation throughout a population for higher complex species and to replace the non beneficial alleles. This places a population limit on microevolution for any species. 9. Recessive gene time limits. Substitution of recessive genes is 30 to 300,000 times longer than the 300 generations time mentioned above. So, this places recessive gene time limits on microevolution. 10. Recessive gene death limits. Substitution of recessive genes requires 30 to 300,000 times more deaths than the 300 population size mentioned above. So, this places recessive gene death limits on microevolution. 11. Harmful mutation limits. Harmful mutations are 1,000 to 1 million times more numerous than any beneficial mutations. So, by the time natural selection is able to get rid of each bad mutation, thousands to millions of new harmful mutations are generated in the population. This leads to genetic decay and extinction of the species, and not the constructive evolution needed for mega-evolution. This limits constructive microevolution of higher species. 12. Mutation rate limits. Evolution is limited by mutation rate. If the rate is too high, harmful mutations cause destructive devolution and extinction of the species. This limits the rate of evolution. The fossil record limits the time for evolution of each taxon, to e.g., 10 million years. 
This places a rate limit on microevolution, i.e., no species can microevolve more than the mutation rate permits in 10 million years. That limit is similar to the 1700 NT mutations mentioned above. This is a limit on microevolution. 13. Morphological limits. Many scientists have concluded that there are no realistic gradualistic and functionally viable pathways for one body plan to evolve into another, or for all of these body plans to have gradualistically evolved from a universal common ancestor. This places limits on evolution. 14. Scientific literature. The scientific literature confirms that mega-evolution is not just microevolution plus time. This means that there must be limits on microevolution. And this is consistent with the limits on microevolution mentioned above. Conclusion. There are natural limits to evolution that prevent the extrapolation of microevolution to mega-evolution. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.